today's tutorial we're going to be changing the color of white on any image we're going to use the car for this one in Photoshop now the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to duplicate a new layer with all the white in the car that's what we want and that's what we're going to change the color of so we're going to use the pen tool on a new layer, go right click, duplicate layer, yes, okay, turn off the background layer, and basically what we're going to do, use the pen tool, like I said before, I'm just going to go trace around the white, not around the wheels, go around the wheels like that, and then what we will do later on, we'll get rid of all the black in between. So without further ado, let's start the pen tool. I'm going to start from here to there, click in the middle, hold down the command key, and then you can start moving the pen tool to your desire. Next one, same thing again, and we continue doing this. Now it's going to fast quicken up the process here because this is quite tedious. Okay guys, now we've come back to the original pen tool mark. Click on that and then we've made ourselves a little selection. We're going to right click that, make selection, feather radius zero, that's what we want. We want a nice sharp crystal clear edge. Just going to zoom out so you can see what we're doing here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to mask this. So up into the layers at the top here, Make sure we've still got it clicked. And the second one from the left, more or less, add layer mask. So just click that and turn away, eliminate the background, and we've got our image. Now, because it's a layer mask, anything that's black, what we can do, we can paint the paintbrush tool. Now, if we got white, excuse me, black reveals and white conceals. So that's the best way of doing that. Now, what we can do, what I like to do is get the pen tool again and select that black area. It's a lot easier this way because if you just paint directly straight into it, you're gonna go around the edges all that. So I'm just using the paint tool here. I'm just gonna select around this, this section here with the black. Just bear with me for a second, it won't take too long. And I'm just gonna do it very roughly at this stage and I'll, I'll quicken the process up later on in the video. Um, I'll just go up to there, and up to there, click on, whoops, they went, click there, click there, like that, and make a selection. Now, right click that, make a selection. Yep, we want the feathers radius zero. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the paintbrush tool, nice decent sized paintbrush, and just paint that black, because we're in the mask mode. Straight away, that gives us that awesome, eliminated background cut. Uh, there are other ways you can do this. You can go to select color and go to black and you can delete it. You can do stuff like that as well. Uh, but this gives you a more defined finish touch. So I'm just gonna quicken up the process and go through this part here. Just give me a couple of secs. Okay, so we've got that one selected. Make selection path. Yes, for the radius, and we get the pencil tool, the paintbrush tool, and just paint in there, get rid of all the black. Now, it's not best, it's not the best uh, selection there, because you can still see some black there, but for tutorial purposes, that's what we're going to go ahead with. Now, I'll just show you something else. If we go to select and get a color range, um, not so much the mask. Click on the actual image and select color color range. And if you go for a blackish color like that or dark black, see it comes up here with a preview. Um, don't want too much fuzziness, that's good. And see what it does, it just picks up all the black that's in there. So if you you can always just go cut, delete that, but see it just just gives you that perfect image. See it's all pixelated and all that type of stuff. So that's no good. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna go back to the 
the mask itself and we're going to start removing all the background, the black, the black in the background. All right, so I'm just going to quicken the process, go through this really quickly and um, I'll get back to you as soon as we've done this part. The whites, what we're going to do on the top here, where we've got a little window in the layer section, create new fill layer, go down to hue and saturation. Now, another little window will come up, which is called properties. Now, in the properties window here, you've got the colorize button. Click that. Before we click the colorize button, we've got to make sure we're clicking this layer. So this little box here with the arrow, click on that, and it just selects this layer only. If we unselect it, it's got all the layers. So unselect that, hit the colorize button, and the color changes for us. Now, we can change to whatever color we like here. And because that's quite mild, put the saturation up to about halfway, and bring the lightness down. And look at the difference in color. So if we go for a red, like that for instance, that's going to look quite awesome. So we turn on the background layer, and there's the difference. How's that? I mean, there's other little bits and pieces of white still in there, but we're getting there. So if we turn the Q and saturation off, back to the white, turn it back on the run, we get to the red. Now, the other thing is, since we've got red, we're going to put the saturation right up, get a nice bright red. Put the lightness up a little bit, we go to too bright, and you get something like that. So just playing around with these adjustments, you get some really cool effects. Now, while we've still got that, we click on the actual layer itself, and go to Image Adjustment Exposure, and you can play around with it like this as well. Do that again. So you get some more shadows and stuff like that in it. Put the exposure down or up, whichever way you want to go. So anyway, that's basically how to change the color. Now, go back to the hues and saturations. You can change that to whatever color you like. Ooh, purple, yeah, whatever. Blue, light blue, green. Let's head to the green color. Let's go for the green. So there you go, guys. That's how you change the color, the white color, into any other color using Photoshop. Thanks for watching.